Hi everybody, I want to introduce you to another one of the stores in the Petter Arcade. This is what we call Atelier Petter. Uh, and we do this as a collaboration with Drappers, which is a great fabric merchant from Italy and also a division of Vitale Barberis Canonico. And uh, you know, this store is here to showcase all of the bunches that Drappers has, as well as showing cut lengths that you can just sort of touch and feel so you get a sense of like the quality of the fabric and how each one is different from the next. Um, but you know, for me, this project, Atelier Pedder, this project is about trying to promote fabric understanding and fabric appreciation. You know, like I think it's impossible to love tailored clothing without loving fabric as well. And you know, like in the same way that let's say like a wine lover always has an understanding of not just like, oh, I like red, I like white, like, but also the grapes themselves, the terroirs. Like, fabric is the same thing, too. You know, it's great to be able to understand, like, oh, how do these compositions differ? What, how does that feel when you have that fabric in your hand? And also, like, a whole collection of fabric, right? Like, what do all the designs within, let's say, a certain quality of fabric look like? And uh, that's what this space is for. It's almost like a library. You come to this library of fabric, and you have the opportunity to look at everything and start formulating, okay, what is the next garment I wanna get? You know, like maybe I need my next tuxedo. What is, what is the next tuxedo fabric I wanna start thinking about? Or I need to make a safari jacket. Like, oh, what's the next tuxedo, uh, I'm sorry, what's the next safari jacket that I would like to be thinking about? Um, and I'd like people to use this space as a reference. And not only to use the space as a reference, but if you would like to just buy cut length fabric, like any of the fabrics on the walls, or anything from the books, like just let us know because we can actually sell you just a couple meters of fabric if you want, maybe of your own tailor, or maybe you want to use it for upholstery or for wall coverings or whatever. Like, we can sort that with you at Atelier Petter. On top of that, if you are a tailor and you need a space to hold your trunk show for a couple of days in Hong Kong, come talk to us because actually this is usable very much by tailors. Um, we actually have a big mirror and a big fitting room space and uh, it's nice and comfortable and quiet and it would be a great place to do business out of. Anyway, shall we have to look at some fabrics? I thought it'd be nice to look at a few fabric books that the Armory tends to use a lot, like personally I tend to use a lot. Uh, starting with this, this is the Bingley, which is Drapper's ceremonial book, right? So the ceremonial book is for like tuxedos, um, fancy stuff. You can see it is pretty fancy, uh, but there's some real gems in here. Like, I love this. This is new to them. It's a Dupioni silk selection. They got white, they got cream, a couple shades of blue as well as black. Like these would make for beautiful jackets. You can wear them as odd jackets or you can do tuxedo jackets out of them. They'd be amazing. Uh, there's also towards the back, a great set of Baratheas. Wool mohair mixed Baratheas. Really lovely texture, you know? Like Baratheia has like this luster to it. It's not shiny, but it's not matte. It's just got a luster. I love it. I've done suits in this color for myself before, but I would love to try the deeper navy as well someday. What else we got? Uh, on the total opposite side of the spectrum, this thing I'm wearing now, this is Drapper's um, Tricotine out of their Three Kings book. So Tricotine is twill with uh, twill made of a wool and cotton mix, 70% wool, 30% cotton, and it's very crispy. I wouldn't say it's super wrinkle resistant, but it's like, thin and hard and it's quite a nice it's quite a nice crisp fabric for like spring and fall in fact i would love someone to do this color I think this, this sort of mushroomy color is amazing they added a lot of colors to the tricotine program actually um, i mean look at that really awesome so keep it in mind for spring summer because you know if you really were a very studious person then you would be ordering your spring summer clothing now so that you're not like, please, I need my, my suit in a big hurry. No, order it now. <laughs> um, Rainbow, this is amazing. And this is a book that I haven't had a chance to use very much, uh, but I do love just the selection of colors in here. I mean, it's almost like if you can't find the color in here, you probably can't find the color, period. Now, this is interesting. This is Britpop. And uh, I just want to go a little bit into like the world of fabrics and people who sell fabrics. Basically, the world of fabrics and people who sell fabrics, you can break down into merchants and mills, right? Mills are the guys who own all the machinery and they actually weave the cloth and they usually weave like big lengths of it, like a couple thousand meters at a time. And then merchants are the guys who will buy that fabric and then slice it up and sell it to you because you don't need thousands of meters of fabric. You only need a couple meters of fabric. Drappers is a merchant. 
and Drapers actually used to be an independent merchant, and then it slowly, slowly, slowly got absorbed into VBC because frankly, most of Drapers' selection was from VBC anyways. And those two have had a very close relationship and always a very positive relationship. And I'm glad to see it happen, to be frank, like, because they offer a great product and the price is very reasonable and they have good stuff in stock and it's great. But um, because Drapers is a merchant, they do have some stuff that's not made by VBC. So like all that stuff I showed you generally was from VBC. This is not, this is stuff that they love. It's in their taste. Um, but it's made in England. And you would go to books like this for stuff like this. You know, just like a good looking, made in UK, Gabber uh, not Gabardine, Solaro. It's funny, I feel like I, I hear Italians talk more about Solaro than English people, you know. If you want to know the story about Solaro, like, it's always fun to Google it. Um, roughly, it was a fabric that was invented by an English doctor. And uh, he was saying, oh, you know, stuff that's red reflects heat more. So for the British soldiers out in, let's say, India, they should wear stuff that has a lot of red in it because it'll keep them cool. Obviously, like, we now know that's been completely debunked, but that was the origins of Solaro. Uh, and it's sort of like very red tone. I do find, though, as a color, it's just super pleasant and super beautiful. And this particular weight of um, Solaro, which is really a traditional 360 gram weight, is way more suited to the fall than it is for summer. Other interesting stuff in the Britpop book, um, they have some great Donegals and tweeds and whatnot towards the back as well. All right, uh, if you need really colorful jacketing, Monte Carlo, always a great place to look as well. So Monte Carlo, they do this, you know, uh, Drappers and VBC are really famous for this sort of mesh jacketing. It's very lightweight, it's great for summer, super breathable. I love the texture. And again, like just a plethora of colors. In fact, I was just showing somebody this because I really love these. These sort of emeraldy blues for the summer, I think will be really amazing. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you in this video. Just because this is, there's a little bit of history to this, which I really, which I really like. So this is the Drapper's Golden Selection. Back in the day, Drapper's used to be run by this guy named Mr. Lully. And Mr. Lully had great, 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 great taste. And he would put together this book called The Golden Selection. And The Golden Selection would always just be like really unusual, interesting fabrics that were basically available for the year. And once it's gone, it's gone. They're not going to remake it or anything like that. And so it's always fun to dig through The Golden Selection when it arrives every year. I mean, like, that's awesome, right? Actually, this is actually, believe it or not, the first time I've opened this box and immediately I'm just like seeing wild stuff that I'm like into. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, this is super interesting. I love that. I have to say this is probably a topic for another day, but there's something kind of interesting about like a khaki wool suit. You know, where you don't have the wrinkles of a, um, where you don't have the wrinkles of a pair of, say, like cotton chinos, but you have that yellowish, warmish tone. Uh, in fact, this is dating me a little bit even more, but there, Caruso, for a time, was doing this collab with Laura Piana uh, for this fabric called Gobi Gold, and it was exclusive to Caruso, but it was very similar sorts of colors like these, and I always wanted to, like, try and make a suit for myself out of that fabric, so I guess... Maybe I need to look at this for myself in the near future. All right, anyway, so um, Atelier Petter, our collaboration with Drappers, uh, this is gonna be open until the end of November, and then we're gonna be introducing a new fabric mill in here in December, but I'll, I'll leave that for when that finally happens. So if you'd like to come, just check it out. Like, you can just come here, browse it like a library, enjoy the space, and if you're a tailor, please get in touch because we'd love to host you here for a trunk show as well. All right, that's for now, and thanks for watching.